Turbo Ant is an electric scooter company, and their manufacturing is based out of China. Now, they offer a variety of different scooters, but cater specifically to the commuter market. And the X7 Max is just that. It features a 350 watt front wheel drive hub motor being powered by a 360 watt hour, 36 volt removable lithium battery. For disclosure, Turbo Ant did send me this unit to review, but no money was given or taken. They do not get any input into this video's production, nor do they get to see it before it's posted. So I still get to say whatever the gosh darn heck I want. Now let's talk about the removable battery for a second. For a commuter scooter, I actually think it's a really good idea because you can simply bring your scooter into bicycle storage at work, remove the battery and bring it up with you to charge. No worrying about somebody riding off into the sunset with your shiny new scooter, and also no worrying about your boss asking why there's a small vehicle parked under your desk. All right, let's see how fast this thing can go, carrying my fat 180 pound ass on a full charge in sport mode. Let's go now. 14, 20, 25, 30, 32, and 32. It ain't going any faster than 32. Not bad. Because I live in Canada, I'm used to things taking forever to arrive, but Turbo Ant is turbo indeed. This thing showed up in less than 24 hours and in great condition, might I add. Jeff Bezos can't even compete with that. It was well packaged and even my Neanderthal brain could assemble it within a few minutes. It arrived with about 60% battery, so it didn't take very long to charge. However, when fully drained, expect it to take about six hours. And right out of the get-go, I have got to say, look at all the ground clearance this thing has. I mean, just look at it. And surprisingly, it doesn't affect stability at all. In fact, quite the opposite. But before you go hitting the downhill mountain bike park with this thing, be aware that there is no suspension but it seriously feels like there is. This is one of the most comfortable scooters I've tested to date in this category. In fact, I would say it's even more comfortable than a Segway P65, which is a much more expensive scooter. I think it has something to do with the combination of the large 10 inch pneumatic air filled tires and the deck. Because the battery lives on the stem, they were able to make the deck much thinner, which seems to offer a little bit of flex in tandem with the tires. So yeah, I'm super impressed with the ride quality. What I'm not super impressed with is the hill climbing capabilities. Now I was only able to climb up to about a 10% grade with my weight of about 180 pounds on a full charge. So if you weigh significantly less than me, it's obviously not gonna be an issue. But if you're a fully grown man and wanna climb hills, I recommend checking out the Turbo Ant V8. Ergonomics on the scooter are gonna be good if you're a normal sized human. Now the deck is kind of interestingly shaped. It's shaped like a teardrop. So it starts around five and a half inches wide at the front and tapers to around seven inches wide at the back with a length of about 21 inches. Now at first I wasn't sure what to think, but it actually works really well. Here's what I look like standing on the deck with my size 10 shoes. Now the stem has a height of around 41 inches and here's what I look like standing on the scooter at five foot 10. Now I rode this scooter for two hours straight and although my feet were starting to get a little bit sore, it's still way more comfortable than other scooters in this category. Braking on this machine comes in two flavors, a Repute mechanical disc on the back and a regen brake on the front. Braking is predictable and linear, however there is only one brake lever, so independent braking control on the X7 Max is not an option. Also, from what I can tell, there is no regen strength settings, which is a bit of a bummer because turning up the regen would put more power back into the battery rather than wasting it carelessly to heat. Speaking of careless, if you do accidentally find yourself riding through a puddle on your X7 Max, fear not as it is IPX4 water resistant certified, meaning it'll take a little bit of water, but please don't take it scuba diving with you. There's also some cool accessories you can buy. I really like the front bag as it allows you to store a few things without having to carry a backpack around. There's also a full set of spares, 
that you can buy on the TurboAnt website. But Lando, how many kilometers can you get on a single charge, you ask? Well, I did the range test for you, and I was able to get 22.4 GPS kilometers, averaging around 20 kilometers an hour the whole time, which is pretty good for a scooter that only weighs 34 pounds and doesn't have a sine wave controller. Yes, indeed, this scooter is quite small and portable once the stem folds down. It fits easily into the back of a car or under a table. And because of its light weight, you can easily pack it around or upstairs if you have to. The stem is one of the most rigid I've tested in this category to date. It's great. And the locking mechanism ensures that your scooter doesn't accidentally become a skateboard. Okay, let's talk about the fancy digital stuff now surrounding this scooter. There are three ride modes, Eco, Comfort, and Sport, which is selectable via the built-in display using this button here. Now, I just leave it on Sport because this thing is about the farthest thing away from a performance scooter, but it's still nice to turn down if Grandma wants to take it around the block. There are also P modes, zero to three, which offers things such as cruise control, zero start, and speed limit functions. And those are accessible by holding down the two buttons here. And yes, you will be doing everything through the built-in display because there is no smartphone app. Honestly, I don't think it's a deal breaker because the screen is bright and offers all the info you need anyways. Speaking of bright, there's also a brake light and three watt LED headlight on the stem. I wouldn't slowly rely on this to get you home in pitch black, but I'm sure it'll work just fine at an urban environment. But if you are riding in really dark environments, I recommend just getting a helmet light. There's also a lot of good removable auxiliary lights on the market as well. Cruise control is available. You simply just hold the throttle down for six seconds and it'll keep you scooting along. One gripe I will say is because there's no smartphone app, you have to physically walk over to check the battery status. And I'm very lazy, so I'd rather just be able to check the charge status from my phone. There's also no LED status bars on the battery. So I think at a minimum it should come with that because currently you have no idea how much juice is in the battery other than if the green light turns on on the charger or you put the battery back in the scooter. And even then you just have a few bars to choose from. So it's kind of vague at best. Another gripe uh, is that there's no way to check individual cell battery voltages. Now I'm not singling it out because most scooters in this category don't have it but I think it should be a feature moving forward just because it's safe. It gives the users the ability to check the health of their battery years down the road as these packs starts to age without having to take it into a shop because not everyone has a shop to check the batteries. Lastly, <laughs> there was some residue left on the screen. There's like a warning sticker on the screen and when you peel it off, it left a ton of residue. So I just spent a few minutes with rubbing alcohol, rubbing it off so I could see the damn screen on the shiny new scooter, so yeah. They should change that as well. But overall, this is an excellent scooter in its category. I love the fact that it has a removable battery, which offers flexible charging options. It's also one of the most comfortable scooters I've tested in this category to date, both on and off-road. It really is just a nice place to be when you're riding it. The construction is well built with tidy wiring and a waterproof rating to boot. So if you want to pick one of these bad boys up, head over to TurboAnt.com and tell them that Lando Cycle sent you. Thanks again to TurboAnt for sending me this unit to review. I had a lot of fun making this video and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it too. So feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace.